Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I'm Catherine and on this channel we do home decor and DIY projects. For today's video it is a special collab with some of my favorite friends here on YouTube and we will be doing Creating Faith DIYs. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I hope you stick around to the end, like, and subscribe. So for the first project I'm going to do a Faith Over Fear sign. This was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I'm going to take this sign that I got at a thrift store and I'm just going to cover it with some cream um, chalk paint. I am using all folk art chalk paint today and I'll list all the colors down in my description box. So I used Canva today and I printed off this sign that says Faith Over Fear. If you've never used Canva, I'll put a link down in my description box. It's This video is not sponsored by them. It's just an amazing website that they do have a free subscription for. Um, I have the paid version, but the free version you have several options too and you can create all kinds of free printables. So once I get that glued on, I'm taking some antique Waverly wax and I am taking some more of that cream uh, chalk paint and mix it together and I'm just going to dry brush it over the entire thing. And then I'm going to show you my shabby bow. So I took this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to cross it over. I do this twice so I have three types of ribbons. I do each ribbon and then I do that a second time using some twine. I tie it together and then I'm just going to glue that into the middle of the top of this sign. I took one of my solo wood flowers and I'm going to glue that into the middle. And then here the sign is styled in some decor. As I mentioned before, today's video is a Creating Faith collab hosted by myself and Crafty Lini. Don't forget to go down into the description box. There will be a playlist and a link to everybody's channel so that you can check out all of these amazing and beautiful DIYs today. For our second project, we're going to be creating a Faith Lives Here sign. This was also inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. So I picked up these little houses at Target, the Target like dollar spot. I think in January, but I have several packages of them, so I thought this would be a perfect place to start. <laughs> so I painted it with my cream colored uh, chalk paint again, and then I'm just going over it with my Antique Waverly Wax mixed with the cream paint to give it the dry brush look. And then I decided to go ahead and cut out the Faith Lives here to match the entire front of this sign. Um, I didn't like it just cut out as a circle. So again, I created this just on my Canva subscription and printed it off on my computer. And then I glued it to the front with a Mod Pod and I'm using my file just to get off any of the excess uh, paper that's around the sides. I like using a file because you can get into those little spaces like up by the chimney. Then I went ahead and used that dry brush uh, cream and antique Waverly wax again over the paper so that it matched and it wasn't like a stark white and then all I'm going to do to finish this project off is another solo wood flower down in the corner and then here it is styled in some decor. So for our third project, we're going to create a faith beaded garland. This garland actually um, came from the Dollar Tree, and I like to reuse their beaded garlands. They are totally worth the $1.25, uh, but I don't really like the colors. I feel like sometimes they're very bright, and I like to give it a more muted tone. So I'm going to just take off the bunny that this one came with, and I'm using one of their wood hearts, and I'm just going to tie the wood heart on with the twine that was already there and make my own little hanger for this beaded garland. Once I get that on I'm going to use some of my pink uh, folk art shop paint and I'm just going to paint the entire heart both sides and the edges and then I'm going to take my uh, cream color chalk paint again and I'm going to go over all of the beads. You can dry brush this on, you can actually paint it on. It really just depends on how muted you want the colors to be. I made another garland like this earlier on in the spring season with a little bunny on the end or I think that one might have been a chick. But anyway, these turn out really cute and they give it a much more muted shabby look. 
So then I'm going to take some more of that ribbon that I used in the previous project and I'm going to make a tassel. All I do is kind of group them around together around the tassel that's already there and then I'm going to use some twine and tie it off at the top so that you get the tassel look. This time I didn't glue my ribbons to the tassel, but you can also do that as well. Glue them all to the top of the tassel and then wrap your twine. It works just as well. Either way is a great way to make your own tassel <clears throat> with something that's already there. So I couldn't find any paint pens, so I just decided to go ahead and use a Sharpie. I'm going to write out the word faith and then I'm going to add some dots to my letters. Then to give it a little bit more of a country feel, I decided to go ahead and do the dots and lines around my heart. I just absolutely love the way that looks. It's just something I've always done for um, projects to give it a little bit more pizzazz when I think it's missing something. So all I'm going to do is take that Sharpie, go around, do the dots and lines, and then here it is styled in some decor. For this project, we're going to create a Be Like Jesus sign. This was also inspired by something I saw on Pinterest, but I went ahead, used Canva again, printed this out on my computer, and then I'm going to tear it along the edges. I'm just going to go ahead and use um, Mod Podge again to glue it to this sign. So this sign actually came from Hobby Lobby, and this week they are on 40% off in their unfinished wood area. So I'm using my same Antique Waverly Wax and Cream colored paint, and I'm going to just um, dry brush the paper again so that it kind of matches. I went a little bit darker with the paper than the sign actually was, and this ended up having a much more country feel to it. Um, but anyway, I, I do love how it turned out. So then I'm going to take some Mod Podge to the back of our paper, and we're just going to glue it right onto that sign. This was a really good deal. It was less than $5 for the sign, and it's a really nice kind of big sign. So once I get that all on, I'm going to um, make sure I smooth it out, and I do put some Mod Podge over the top. I'm then going to make another messy bow, and I made this one a lot more country looking just to kind of go with what the sign was turning out to be. So the nice thing about these shabby bows is you can create them to be any style you want. Since the sign was taking on a more country look, I went with more country ribbon. Um, if it's more of a shabby look, then I go with more shabby ribbon. So it really just kind of depends on your preference. So I had these burlap um, roses in my stash, and I thought that that would look super cute here on this bow. And then here it is styled in some decor. that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I had a lot of fun making these and um, don't forget you can always use your computer to print out images and make signs um, for a fraction of the cost if you don't have a cutting machine. If you like today's video, here is some more videos that I think that you might be interested in. Don't forget to go down to my description box, click on the playlist, and check out the other Creating Faith DIYs today. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video.